Everything's okay. Everything... What are you doing to Dukes? Huh? I got good news for you, honey. What? Duke found the guy who stole the mink and the money that framed you. You're clear. That's great news. But how did you do that? Yeah, I'd like to hear that myself. I had a meeting at Duke's tonight. I've been trying to set it up, but I didn't tell you about it because it wasn't for sure. Duke's been trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing for a long time. And he did? He did. And this whole thing's all over? It's over. I don't know if I should laugh or if I should cry. Well, take your pick. I'm going to go tell Tony and Tanya. You don't mind, do you? No. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, what really happened? Lavery caught me at the computer. Oh. How did you get out of that mess? Duke got me out of it. You're kidding? No. Robert, I don't know what outfit he's mixed up in, but there's heavyweights involved. They were on their way up to Duke's office. They've been looking for this printout for weeks. Which we still don't have. Now, wait a minute. I didn't have it when Lavery caught me either. But he got on the computer, and he made a copy of the printout that I had, so I'd have something to show the big shots when they showed up. So Lavery did lie when he said he gave me all his files. Yeah, but Robert... Listen, but me no but. This time I've got him, this time I put him away. Robert, wait! Robert. I can't do what? I'm telling you, just lay low and let's figure out what Lavery's up to. Look, I'm past all of that. All I care about is the fact that he's used both Anna and Robin. I don't think he used them. That's why I'm saying I think we ought to just try to figure out where he's coming from. Look, all I'm concerned about here, Frisco, are two people. I understand that. And I'd, I'd feel the same way if I were you, but I... I think Lavery risked his life for me tonight. Three heavyweights came into the room, Robert. And when they saw me, I knew they were looking for the printout. One of the guys' name was Angus. When he walked into the room, you could feel the tension. Well, we both know that Lavery's into something shifty. The point is, look, do I really want this man as my daughter's stepfather? Furthermore, do I want him involved with a, the mother of my child, a woman who I still happen to hold rather dear to me? I know what you're saying, Robert. But he saved my life. And he's also trying to clear Felicia of the charges. Now, if we jump in now, he might not be able to keep that promise. That's a possibility. I don't want to take that chance, Robert. Do you still believe him? He saved my life. I have to believe him about what he said about Felicia. I'll hold off, but only for a while. All right. I think that we ought to lay low for a little bit. Now, I worked it out so that Labor was forced to give me a singing job at the club. And that's perfect for us. I can go undercover very easily. You've done a spot of growing up since I left PC. I had to. You were gone. It's a good thing you've had a, you've had some police training. It gives me more confidence to know that you can handle yourself. There's one thing I want, Robert. What's that? I don't want to keep this from Felicia, that I'm going on the cover. I've got to insist on that. I've got to tell her. Frisco, look, if you're going undercover, the fewer the people that know about this, the better. Robert, she's been through hell the past few months. If I go undercover, I have to tell her. She's not going to like it. Yeah, well, she's not going to like it if I don't tell her. It's not going to be great for my marriage. Well, don't jeopardize your marriage. Nothing's worth that. And take it from me. Secrets between two people that love each other can destroy it. She's not going to like me going undercover, but uh, I got to tell her, Robert. It's your life. You got to do what's best. Oh. Tony and Tony are so excited about the good news. They want to know how you did it. They want to hear everything. What's more, they think you might be able to get out from any, underneath all of your problems. And I might just let you back on the police force. What? Uh, 
Would you like to handle this? I'd like to get back to Robin's party before it's over. Yeah. I'll handle it. I'll be speaking to you both soon. Excuse me. Bye, Robert. I'm not going to like this, am I? <laughs> and Robert agrees that it's a good idea if I work at the club, too. Good idea. Honey, there's more going on there than Duke indicated. I can't believe it. How about Duke? I know. I know it's tough for me, too. But don't forget that there I was in his office. And there was the man, and there was the printout. He's into it. And he's into it deep, baby. I know, but it's just so hard to accept. I know that. I have trouble, too. The man's paradox. And now that you've told me what you're going to do, you're going to ask me not to worry. Look, I know I wanted to know the truth, Frisco, but people have been killed. We almost got killed. I know. And now I have to face the fact that... I don't want to say it. Let's hold on to one thing. Robert's in it with me. Now, we've been in pr pretty tough jams together before. I'm alive because of Robert Scorpio. That's why I love him so much. What are you thinking? Huh? When we got married, I promised to be a real good cop's wife. But you're not a cop anymore. And you don't even have anybody to back you up except Robert and, and, and me. That's enough, huh? That's solid backing. When Tony and Tanya brought the baby home today, I thought, that's what I want. I'd like to have children, too. But well, we will. Them if we don't have a loving, safe, and secure home. Yes, we can, baby. We can give them that. We can give them that much more. We can. What about Anna? It's gonna be hurt. It's gonna be hurt real bad. 